Ron, I want to thank you again for all the answers, especially for today. And we've got one final question, and then I'll give you some time if you would like to make any final comments. Okay. Okay. All right, Ron, last question here from a member. Ron, if we're going to New Earth and 5D, why will we need the money from the Zim Redemption? Okay. Uh, what you're assuming as a result of going into New Earth and 5D is that we won't need money. <clears throat> How do you know that to be true? Who have you talked to? Have you inquired of the Lord to know that that's true? See, and you're making assumptions that, and then asking a question, and I'm not sure how to answer that. I don't know what you're like. I don't know that you're even going to be going to New Earth or 5D. If you go to New Earth and to 5D, we will go through a transition are you aware that the quantum financial system has been active in other universes, other galaxies? Because it's a perfected way of doing the financial circumstances for a group, for groups of people who want to have commerce with one another. And there's nobody coming along with cheating keeping your stuff in a warehouse and then uh, giving scripts out for this that and the other they know that they can send out more scripts than they have because a lot of people don't cash them in sort of there was there was fraud throughout the whole thing that kind of a system doesn't work in other places and that's why we're changing to this way because this is the way that they have been doing in other locations is this interesting to you is this new information to you so if we go into the third uh, new earth in the 5d which of these countries which of these star nations which ones of these which galaxies were you still using money are they in 5d or 6th or 7th or 8th d we don't know and if we don't know, let's just allow things to take place as they're going to through the transition. Now, it's an accumulated effect. If we all go through the redemption appointment, excuse me, we go through, go through the ascension process and we all have a new earth and a 5D and our mother earth has gone through her ascension process and completed it to where uh, she's where she needs to be. We're supposed to be going along with her. And you, you're making assumptions from other people telling you, assumptions from what other people are telling you and then asking a question about it. Uh, I don't believe that that's all true. Why won't we need money in the future? If you have large sums of product and you have to take it over to somebody else and see if they want some of it, then you're you're just going back into the primitive way of barter, which is okay if that's whether you want to do it. But why do that when you have the quantum financial system? So you take an anti-gravity that's the size of three uh, semis, you fill it full of grain and you want to take it someplace. And you want to take it to uh, perhaps into the um, economic systems for the galactics. Okay, how are you going to get how are you going to get the money for that? How are you going to get something in return? Now, if you look into the quantum, the international commodity clearinghouses, you'll understand what's going to be taking place. It's intergalactic commerce. That is the end product of what that international commodity clearinghouse is. So you can take a, a load of grain to some star nation that they need. Is that true? I don't know. Is it? 
Is it not true? You can't tell me that it isn't true. Because you don't know. I'm just saying, let's be open for what really happens. And in being open for what really happens, we're going to find the joy and the happiness we want. And that's what we're trying to do with creating the new earth, the 5D, and living in peace and harmony with one another. Where everything is, nobody stands out as being the elite. Money doesn't mean anything to anybody else because we'll have plenty of money. What are you doing with your money? Well, I'm going, I'm going to travel. Well, I think I'm going to get me that new Mercedes. Everybody will get to do what they want to do with their funds, but there'll be plenty of funds for people to do what they want to do with their funds. That's all I'm trying to say. It's a transition. We'll see where we start and we'll see where it ends. And I anticipate that we're under the loving and guiding control of our overseers, our set, our uh, souls, and that it will all work out for the best good of mankind. It always will. So if I have any comments, I would say, in addition to what I've said on this particular one, we are in a transition. Loved One Society is a transitional form of plat plat programs that can be used for tremendous value for what's going to be taking place. Now, if we catch a vision of that and actually do it ourselves, catch your own vision of what you can do on a personal basis. If you're the CAC director or a managing director and you want to put CACs all over um, a city or a state, uh, a little bit at a time, you grow and develop. You don't go spreading yourself thin and then making mistakes. You let things mature and get them going. Uh, and the right people will come in at the right time. Uh, we have 25,000 people in Love One Society. If they all become managing directors, they're all over the world. So there's a lot of them. Could there be more, I suppose? I don't know. It's not my job. Hmm. We'll just do the work, and hopefully everybody comes that's supposed to be part of us. So, Dom, thank you for your work and all that you do and we'll with that i think i'll close okay ron it's, it's my extreme pleasure thank you very much for your time again and just another awesome week and to everyone we will be back with another series with ron next week i hope everybody has a great rest of the week thank you again ron you're welcome Dom. <laughs>